Okay. I'm now on page 24. This is screencast number two for unit one, lesson two. All right. And it says, how do scientific theories become accepted? A scientific theory is not just an educated guess, which would be like a hypothesis, or an explanation of a single fact. A scientific theory is a system of ideas that explains related observations. A theory is supported by evidence gathered through, th through scientific investigation. Okay. Empirical evidence gathered during an investigation helps to support a theory. Remember that empirical evidence is any observation, measurement, or data that scientists gather and test. Okay. Under the red heading that says theories are supported by evidence. Okay, they're giving you an example on these two pages. Dinosaurs and many other organisms became extinct about 65 million years ago. Over the years, scientists have offered many explanations for why this happened. In the 1970s, Walter and Luis Alvarez found a thin layer of iridium-rich clay at various locations on Earth. These layers dated to 65 million years ago, the same time as the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. Iridium is a rare element on Earth, but is found in large amounts in meteorites. The Alvarez's proposed that Earth had been struck by a large meteorite 65 million years ago, and the impact of the meteorite caused the mass extinction event. In the 1990s, evidence of an impact crater of the right size, type, and age was found near the city of Chicxulub in Mexico. With this evidence, many scientists agreed that a meteorite impact did play a role in the extinction of the dinosaurs. Okay, now I'm on page 25 under the red heading that says, Theories Incorporate New Evidence. Again, they're using the um, mass extinction of the dinosaurs as an example of how things become a impact could result in a mass extinction. More investigation of this scientific explanation was needed. Empirical, empirical evidence of major volcanic eruptions in India occurring at the end of the age of the dinosaurs was also found. Volcanic ash in the atmosphere can block sunlight and contribute to global cooling. Thus, many scientists logically reasoned that the volcanoes were the main cause of the mass extinction and a volcanic eruption explanation was put forth. But further analysis of the scientific evidence showed that these volcanoes had been erupting for about 500,000 years before the Chicxulub impact without having a massive effect on the global environment. For years, scientists studied empirical evidence of the mass extinction using tools and technology from different fields. Okay, so there's a lot of people doing a lot of different research in different fields trying to answer this question as to whether the mass extinction was caused by a meteorite. Okay, recently scientists around the world have come to agree that the Chicxulub impact was most likely a trigger that caused tidal waves, earthquakes, landslides, and blasts of dust. These events, together with the volcanic ash that was already present, darkened the skies. Darker skies led to global cooling and fewer plants, which caused the dinosaurs to die off. With the empirical evidence unified into a well-supported scientific explanation, the meteorite impact explanation for dinosaur extinction could now be called a theory. So the thing you need to realize is they did a lot of research and gathering information and testing hypotheses and all of that and put it all together into a unified theory and it took quite a while to do that. Okay, after my highlighting, this is what my page looks like. Um, the yellow highlighting may not be super easy to see so I'll try to go back through this. Um, I highlighted the sentence that starts with a scientific theory is a system of ideas. I highlighted the sentence that starts with empirical evidence is any observation, measurement, or data that scientists gather and test. I also, down here, iridium is a rare element, so I highlighted that. The next sentence, the Alvarez's proposed that Earth had been struck by a large meteorite. I highlighted that. 
I highlighted in the 1990s evidence of an impact crater of the right size type and age was found near the city of Chicxulub in Mexico. So I highlighted that. Over here, um, I put a little arrow where it said recently scientists around the world have come to agree that the Chicxulub impact crater was most likely a trigger that caused tidal waves, earthquakes, landslides, and blasts of dust. And then I highlighted the last sentence also with the empirical evidence unified into a well-supported scientific explanation. The meteorite impact explanation for dinosaur extinction could now be called a theory. Okay. Um, even though I'm just hitting the highlights, I do always encourage you to go back and read everything, everything, including the little captions that go with the illustrations.